Hi, my name is Matt Carroll with uh, World Class Coaching and I help with Academy Sports Coach 2023. Uh, I want to talk to you about a session that I've created today um, utilizing holding midfielders in the attack. And where I got a lot of these ideas for this session are from the book, The Role of the Holding Midfielder Attacking um, by Luca Bertolini. And so within this book, we've got a lot of really great examples of um, attacking um, the holding midfielder play, such as Pirlo, um, the KPIs, the knowledge progress indicators of holding midfielders in the possession phase, uh, comparisons of different holding midfielders and things they've done, and the, and the history, and actually a history of the center midfield and their terms. Um, so really, like really great mix of just um, obviously statistical information, tactical information, but even historical information and breakdown of individual players' roles and heat maps and all that great stuff um, that you can find in the books that we have available on the website. Um, so I'll put that in the comments section so you can check that out uh, and download it for yourself. But back to the session, um, one of the most important things in the attack is the way the um, the holding midfielder receives a pass. And either it's a pass from their team or it's a pass from the opposition because sometimes it will be um, the, the six we want to play is kind of like our destroyer. They destroy the, the opposition's buildup. They win the pass, and then they're, they're transitioning the ball upfield to get into the attack. So the way they receive is incredibly important. Um, so here we have a kind of a relay race. You know, it's kind of a good way, fun way to start off the session. Um, make it challenging for the players. Um, working on technique, uh, and the faster, the, the more clear the technique is, the faster the play is going to be. So they're really um, promoted to you know utilize the proper technique because it will make them win the race. Um, so we would change this up uh, and give it a, a number of different ways that they could receive. So we could go um, this one they receive in the back foot, and they play. So two touch here, receive the back foot. Then they switch over to the other side and do it on the other side. This player transitions the ball. And we're just kind of creating a diamond here. Um, so that's just one receiving on the half turn, opening your hips up. Uh, we, can get, we can get really creative with it. We have a lot of fun with it. We can have one where they um, uh, dummy a ball through their legs. Uh, we could have one where it's a through ball. All right. So they're running on the ball. They're catching up to it and then playing the pass. Um, and then they're switching sides. So we really want the important thing is that they're switching sides. They're receiving from different angles. So they're constantly going to the other side of the cone. But you have the dummy one. You have the – give me go. You have one where we receive um, from a pass from here on this side. And then the ball is played back one time. And then we have a lofted pass over to the other side, and we and transition go to the other side and do the exact same thing on the other side. So a bit of a uh, like an outlet pass back to relieve pressure, and then and then a long ball over the top, and then they receive, and then are kind of creating a situation where it's like okay, we played long, we lost the ball, it's come back into the six, and the six is able to then pick the ball up and play and get out of there. Um, so a couple different options there. Get creative as you want, but make it fast paced, make it fun um, for the for the. Um, uh, for the players um, as they warm up for the session. Next, what I would have is um, a – let's put a little bit bigger of a goal. Let's go 3v3, 4v4, whatever was appropriate for um, your group, and then a little channel in the middle that will be occupied specifically by the six. So this would run all the way to the side. So we have – I'm just going to go 2v2 just for – the sake of just getting the, um, the guys on the field, but you can do whatever you need to do. Um, so no, black would be attacking here, or defending here. So black is defending this goal and attacking that goal. Yellow is defending this goal and attacking this goal. And then we have a neutral CDM here. You can play your side. So we have a 2v2 here going to goal. We have a 2v2 on the other side going to goal. And what they have is, you know, you ha it's going to get congested. You might even want to make this um, a 3v2 defensively, but we'll start with even numbers. And we have the CDM as kind of a, an anchor at all times where, let me just put this one, this is a better animation here, where let's say black is stuck on the ball. They can play as an outlet to the CDM, okay? 
and now they're creating a 3v2. So we're finding ways in which the, the CDM can be in that position and they receive and are able to transition quickly. So what we'd like to see is the pressure's on the ball, we play the outlet, he's able to quickly get a ball off in a position for this player to set up and get a shot. Okay. Now from there, if yellow is able to win the ball, again, this player's playing as a neutral. Um, I believe I'm just put here. Yellow is able to win the ball. They can play to yellow and just skip the line, or they can play through the six and immediately create a three v two. Now, what we can see here is the defenders will get compact. We see transition runs. This player runs here. This player runs here, and we can hopefully find a quick one where this player is able to play to yellow through this movement and find a shot. Okay, so a bunch of different options. The the, the six in this role is playing um, two different kind of um, uh, roles here. Um, there are the kind of the pivot role where they're playing a little deeper, allowing things to come through them, um, transitioning and shuffling the ball. And the other one is the transitional role where they're receiving and linking up play between the defenders and the midfields and forwards. Okay. So you're getting this guy, this player in the middle, a lot of different options. And what you should be doing is while this is going on, you know, you can have your assistant or you can just kind of let them run, but these players are playing and you're coaching up the center midfielder. In talking about like where their movements are, where should you be? Hey, the ball's on this side. Where should you, are you at an angle that you can receive? So you can solely focus on and give a lot of attention to that central midfielder while allowing a lot of open play and a lot of run of play stuff going on with your attacking players. Um, it really allows because it's so isolated, you can kind of stand in this area and still not intrude in the game. Um, it allows you a lot of opportunities to do specific coaching to that specific position. Uh, so where I would go from here is. We would go to a scrimmage, but with a, a neutral defender. So I'm not going to put all the players in the field right now, but um, in this situation, we have, let's say, yellow as the ball. Instead of a neutral attacker, like we normally have in games, we're going to have a neutral defender. And this neutral defender is, as soon as they lose, as soon as they give up the pass, they become a defender again. Um, but so yellow. Um, plays a pass, the neutral defender is constantly looking to break a play and destroy, you know, we call it uh, being the destroyer, um, break a plat passes in transition. They win it. As soon as they win it, they are immediately on the black team. They play black, and now they're defending against black. Um, so they're consistently moving um, to be the defender, defender except for the moment of transition when they're passing. So we give them that one moment to be in the attack, um, and we're, we're really coaching that, hey, get there, break up these passes, and immediately get the ball forward. Get the ball into attacking position. Um, if you you want your center uh, CDMs under pressure to play to your defenders, you can do that. All right, but you're coaching them up, up to find those motions um, on the moment of transition. Um, and then again, you can combine this with the other video I have available about um, the holding midfielders' defensive positions. Because I think more than any other position, they are the the transition moment. They're the 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 link between the offense and the defense. Um, so then from here, just go into a regular scrimmage and allow them to play naturally play in their natural position and see if the concepts that you've been putting in place uh, are coming through. Uh, so my name, again, my name is Matt Carroll with World Class Coaching and with the help of Academy Sports Coach 2023 and the book, The Role of the Holding Midfielder Attacking by Luca Bertolini. Uh, I hope the session finds you well.